one of the themes of the killer was uh, about lack of understanding. You know, there's a, I think there's a, a lot of misunderstanding as well. I mean, uh, well, uh, why do people have, I mean, why do uh, so many hate, hatreds in between people? Why people, uh, you know, why they're killing each other? It's all about lack of uh, understanding. And by the meantime, so I also want to make a film to, uh, uh, dedicated to uh, 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 one of my mentors, you know, Jean-Pierre Melville. So I said, I love his movie so much, and I, uh, I truly admire him. I love uh, what, he, uh, what he did in uh, The Samurai. Uh, and uh, uh, Circle Rules, you know, the Red Circle, you know, the guy. And also wanted to make a f movie uh, as a tribute to uh, one of my favorite great master, like Martin Scorsese. You know, I, I must say that I, uh, uh, I've got so much uh, uh, great influence from both of them. I mean, what I love about uh, Martin Scorsese is, is that the way he's uh, using his robots are so unique. It's not only using it for the action, he also using some slightly slow motion for the uh, emotional moment, you know. So if you look at the movie carefully, when I shot some of the cops, uh, Danny Lee's uh, uh, extreme close-up and the girl's extreme close-up and sometimes uh, even though, uh, with the uh, Joe Fast close-up and uh, I was using the slow motion to shot it. I uh, try to capture the, uh, the uh, 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 unforgettable moment, you know. <laughs> Besides, the film was a, a, a tribute uh, to uh, Jean-Pierre Melville and Martin Scorsese, and also it was a, a memory of uh, Sam Peckinpah. Like the way I use the slow motion, and the slow motion it kind of with a uh, normal speed, you know, that kind of technique, it was from uh, Peckinpah's movie. I didn't see Packing Cross movie as a violent uh, movie, you know. I, I, I think his, his action uh, and the way he shot are very um, poetic, you know. Uh, for the editing, I tried so many new techniques, you know, like uh, uh, when there's a moment, you know, that, that when uh, Zhao Yun Fa that he make a turn, uh, while he's turning, in the middle of turning, and he pulled out the gun, uh, I, I've got a top shot in turning and a, a lower shot, and he uh, continue turning, and then uh, you know the and then the, another low angle, you see him uh, 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 like a double turning, and uh, you know live up in the air and shooting with two guns, you know, and uh, and I feel. It was. It looks uh, uh, pretty much like a dancing. It was first time I was just like, double turn, double turn, double turn, and shooting. You know? <laughs> but I have never liked to, you know, to do everything by the book. For example, you know, the way we're using the uh, dissolve. You know, the dissolve means the time left. Is telling the time, you know, or the time changing. But I use the uh, the dissolve uh, for the uh, emotional vision and put it in the uh, uh, romantic or the emotional music, so that emotional moment. I also a bit uh, learn from uh, uh, Francois Truffaut, you know, what uh, um, you know in uh, one of his movie, uh, Joe and Jim, you know, and uh, he was the first one who used freeze frame in the middle of the scene. If I feel like I want that moment to extend a little longer than I did freeze it, or maybe, uh, you know, I, I try to, you know, draw uh, some kind of tension there, so I freeze it, you know, something like that. And I went to uh, Hollywood for my first movie, Hot Target. So I was using the same way to make the film. And then, the, so I have used a lot of, uh, you know, uh, new technique, you know, like slow motion and, uh, freeze frame and uh, you know uh, overlapping you know something like that.
and they were you know, for the uh, action movie, you know. Uh, so it, it was really rare, you know, for the Hollywood action movie, but because they had never used that way, you know. So, uh, uh, and there was a test screening, and the audience mostly uh, was the uh, action fan, and they were not my fan, <laughs> you know. So the action fan. So whenever they saw the uh, uh, the, the slow motion or the uh, or, or overlap, uh, you know, scene uh, thing, you know. They all laugh. They all laugh, and uh, somebody even uh, step out of the theater. It's something about the culture. But in the killer, the audience didn't feel that way. I mean, the, I find the audience love it. Uh, no matter the, the the Hong Kong audience or the uh, or the Western, you know, audience, uh, they they uh, all love, uh, you know, all all the technique in my film. Even some of the technique became my signature. You know, like uh, the double turn, the double use of the film, and then uh, the uh, uh, the uh, slow motions, uh, the two guns, uh, and uh, uh, our hero sliding on the ground and shooting. You know, uh, you know, two guns, and then, then the, the pigeons. <laughs> you know, and then the, the uh, uh, even the uh, um, even though the uh, the freeze frame. You know, the, the it all became my signature. You know, so uh, and then um, uh, I was so glad. Uh, uh, I had the opportunity, I, I had that kind of freedom to do, you know, whatever I feel, you know, so it was great. Well, there were, um, there were two things about the, uh, the cop and the killer, you know. The cop had to think like the killer, and he had to behave like the killer, and then uh, he had to uh, uh, do what he did, like the killer. Uh, you know, as a, that's all I say, understanding. So after the, after the cop understand the killer more, and then he had uh, to find a way to, to get him. So ironically, the, uh, when the cop tries to get into the, uh, the killer's world, and the killer wanted to step out. The other thing is uh, about honor. They both have the same kind of core honor, but they just uh, you know, uh, do it in a different way. I mean, uh, they both have a same heart, same kind of heart. You know, they, they, they both try to save the girl. You know, and, and they both uh, uh, loyal to themselves, you know. Actually, the idea was came on the set. Uh, I must tell you, uh, I shot this film without a complete script. Uh, script. You know, I, uh, I just got a, a simple story, and I shot with a treatment. So I write and shot uh, uh, at the same day uh, and uh, on a set. You know, I, I mean, it means uh, I, uh, I wrote while I'm shooting. You know, I wrote some dialogue and talked with the actor. Okay, this scene is the, my idea, is like this, this, this. And then we made up a dialogue. And so we kind of dialogue and then the, so, and then uh, so, uh, and then we, while we're shooting the scene, I'm thinking of a, of a, of a tomorrow scene, and then uh, I write it at night, and the next day, we just shot it. So, and then like, uh, there's a Mexican standoff, was one of the, uh, as a, as a, uh, came on the set. We used to hang around in the same neighborhood. Yeah, I forget. He was Mickey Mouse, I'm Dumbo. <laughs> you called each other that? <laughs> yeah. It's good to see you after all this time. Can't say I share that feeling. Aren't you pleased to see your friend? I'm not that close to him. He's been giving me a lot of trouble lately. I'm here to sort it out now. Oh, all right, I'll get us a cup of tea. Don't no bother. Need. I've asked uh, some of the uh, uh, Hollywood filmmakers, I asked them uh, why they uh, love Hong Kong film so much. You know, they, they, say, they said that in a, uh, in a Hong Kong film, uh, usually could combine all kind of elements into the film. I mean, uh, in Hollywood, uh, the, uh, uh, everything was so, you know, 
you know, so um, uh, separate. You know, the uh, action film is only for action fans. You know, the, the uh, action is action. Uh, they have never put any, uh, uh, you know, drama, heavy drama. You know, in uh, in an uh, action movie. And so it's a drama, it's a drama. And, and uh, the people who love to watch a drama movie, though, they, will, they will never go into the, to see a, the action movies. You know, the comedy is a comedy. A comedy will never uh, mix uh, with you know, any action or, or something like that, you know. So, and then, uh, but for, you know, for the Hong Kong film, it had everything. It had great action and also had great performance and so have uh, you know, a lot of uh, good sense of humor. You know, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's what they like about the Hong Kong film, you know, and they, what we usually do. Will you take care of Jenny? I'm going to the bathroom. Uh, hey, I'll come. Hey, we have a guest bathroom. No need to wait for him. Uh, Jenny, I, I heard something. I think there's a rat in the kitchen. Of course, uh, for the killer, you know, he'd, uh, he had done something bad, you know, really bad, and, and he, and he uh, couldn't do anymore. He just wanted to... Go for, uh, go for straight, you know, and, and, he, and he wanted to change uh, uh, a new life, you know. So at the beginning of the movie, when we saw the killer sitting in the church, you know, and, and he just uh, sit, uh, sitting inside silently without doing anything, just just uh, keep thinking and, you know, thinking of himself, you know. And then uh, uh, when his partner uh, came in and asked him, uh, uh, do you believe in God, you know, and then he, and he just looked at him with a little smile and didn't show anything, you know. So I think uh, that uh, it tells the killer he, uh, he's looking for something. He's looking for some, something can uh, make him change, you know, uh, uh, and especially uh, he wanted to redeem himself. That's, that was the main thing uh, for the killer. Do you believe in God? I've seen no evidence, but I like the peace in here. Of course, uh, you know, is, uh, I'm a Christian myself, you know. So, you know uh, even though I, uh, um, uh, I don't uh, go to the church much, you know. <laughs> you know but I uh, uh, always believe, I, I still believe that there, uh, there are always some good thing deep inside uh, everybody's heart. You know, just what I did when I was a kid, you know, is, uh, our family was living in some bad neighborhood, you know. At that, at that time, uh, you know, our family was uh, extremely poor. We got nothing, you know, and then uh, uh, we were uh, uh, living with, uh, you know, the uh, uh, gangster, the drug dealer, the, the hooker, you know, that kind of thing, and then, uh, uh, and a lot of, uh, you know, uh, street gang, you know, the, you know, so, you know, all, uh, I got beat up almost every day, you know, and, and I got to fight back, you know, something like that. And I just, I just like hell, you know, I was living in hell. So, uh, so that's why um, I always like to, you know, uh, going to the church. So at the end of the uh, movie, uh, there was a huge uh, gun battle scene uh, inside the church. Uh, there was a, uh, uh, a message, you know, it's a message about the, the the people's war, the people's hatred, could make the heaven turn into hell. You know. And the Virgin Mary was represents uh, the all kind of beauty of the human being, you know. And and it got blown up, you know. So the people just, I mean, the all the hatred uh, destroying, destroyed all the buildings. <laughs> Of course, uh, the killer was not a uh, religious movie. You know, I just <laughs> you know, it's, uh, uh, I think it, uh, mainly it was about uh, friendship and uh, and love, you know, and uh, honor. When I made the film, you know, I tried to make a very very romantic uh, Hong Kong movie, and also wanted to make the uh, uh, the relationship in between the cop and the killer, uh, even with the blind girl, you know. So have uh, some kind of a romance in between them. You know, so uh, I had uh, so many new ways to show that. When the killer, you know, is uh, sitting inside the room uh, uh, on the couch, and the camera is uh, from the outside the window, is, uh, is tracking, when the tracking to the uh, other side of the window, and we replace uh, the, uh, the car ball sitting in the same place. And then we continue tracking 
to uh, another piece of glass, and we, uh, we change back to the killer sitting in the same position. You know, that kind of uh, technique, you know, they just try to show that, you know, these two guys, you know, they have, a, uh, uh, they have something uh, 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 in common, you know. They, you know. And then, uh, and, and also, the, uh, they, they both uh, drawn, drawn in to uh, each other's world, you know, so that's, that was the idea. Hey, Eagle, you hit the nail on the head. You were right. <laughs> there were not much people who know why I shot an action movie, you know, in a romantic way, you know. So, like, uh, for example, I asked uh, my uh, production team, you know, you got to find a house, got to find a house, like a French house, like a French house with a tall window, I need, uh, you know, that I want to do that shot, you know, do the, the tracking shot. He said, uh, John, what's the French house? I said, ha have you ever seen a French film? You know, it just, just, like a, just like a French movie. And uh, they couldn't find one. They just could find you know, some house with a tall window, you know. But they couldn't get the concept, what is the French romanticism, you know. So, and then all of a sudden, I feel lonely. I feel myself like, like the killer. There's uh, nobody understanding what I'm thinking. Uh, nobody know, uh, why I want to do this. So I feel that, like a lone ranger. So that's why I was so deep uh, and I was so related to the, uh, to the killer and, and the cops. Because, uh, they were, so that's why I say the, the whole idea was uh, uh, a lack of uh, understanding. So that's why I had to, you know, um, choreography everything by myself and, uh, you know, and then uh, cutting, editing the film by myself, you know. After I did the first cut and then everybody watched it, and they said, oh, the movie is so romantic. <laughs> it's the first decent thing I've ever done. Don't stop me. Will you do it for me? When there's a moment, uh, the cop Danny Lee and the, and the killer, you know, uh, they got shot, you know. It was shot and, and suddenly in slow motion. I feel that slow motion is not enough. I just want to show the, uh, the beauty of their heart. It got to be a very romantic moment for that moment, you know, for that, you know, gut shot moment. So all of a sudden they came with the idea, okay, uh, let's uh, Get some prisoner, you know. I, I, as a proud guy, you know, <laughs> in the middle of the night, so get, get me a <laughs> hundreds of prisoners, you know. So and then uh, so because I came with the idea, so when uh, when the cop got shot, <coughs> when he got shot, and then if I cut into the a pigeon, fly over the candle in slow motion, I mean uh, with this kind of montage, he will uh, uh, represent uh, his solo moment, you know. I mean the his soul being saved. Since the movie <laughs> was uh, 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 quite popular, you know, so the, the, and the picture the, became my, one of my signature. <laughs> you know, so, so it, was, it was great. You know, I mean, the, I did try uh, so many different kind of uh, new experiment in the film, and it worked pretty well, you know. So I, I'm so proud of the movie. Hotel. We'll just stay for the night. Then Sydney will get my money to me, and we'll go tomorrow. But I'm scared all those gangsters will find us here. There's no one. It's kind of an out-of-the-way place here. The Killer was my dream movie as well. You know, I, I put all my dream in one film. You know, it's uh, like, uh, like I said, I have this great admire of the uh, European film the French film and uh, the Japanese film and uh, uh, the, the classical American film, you know, there's a, uh, I'm a big fan of movies. I'm a big fan of all those uh, kind of movies, you know. And then uh, I, uh, uh, I have a dream, I have a uh, dream to make a movie like that and this and that, you know. It is, uh, so I put uh, all of my dream, all of my love of the movies, uh, all, uh, uh, the uh, different types of movies, put it in one film. You know, like, uh, like the story was based on a, 
uh, one of the uh, Japanese Yakuza movie, and uh, uh, the, the, the technique was from Scorsese, Peckinpah, you know, and uh, the killer's character was from, you know, the uh, Jean-Pierre Melville's movies, uh, like Alan DeLong, you know, that kind of thing, and a little bit of a Steve McQueen, and a little bit of a musical, the musical for the action, you know. So uh, it's like a, like a movie fan, you know, to make his dream movie. And he could, uh, you know, put everything he liked, you know, uh, put it in all one film. I just want to make an, an action musical. <laughs> you know, the, you know the, since they're my kind of action, they put it much like a dance, you know. So I, uh, uh, why, why, the, why couldn't I, the, you know, just make a movie like, you know, is, uh, the, with the dance and the actions, and they, they you know, uh, they look pretty much the same, you know, they kind of, it would be fantastic. In the killer, when I'm designing the uh, action sequence, I usually, uh, Listen to the music. Uh, I designed, I got the idea, I designed the actions all based on the music. When I saw the scene, before I saw the scene, I also listened to the music. Uh, let me get the mood and got the rhythm and got the, uh, uh, the beauty of the action, you know. So, and then the, before I, I, I your action, I just put it down. So, if, uh, if any movement or if any, uh, uh, if the camera angle didn't capture the, the, the beauty of the action, or get the meaning of the accent, and I would like to do it again. And then the, when the Dolly guy uh, uh, put in the camera, uh, didn't match uh, what uh, didn't match the music rhythm, I would uh, put a headset on 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 the, uh, the uh, Dolly guy's head. You know, I I would let him uh, pull the Dolly, follow the action, and, and I mean to listen to the music, I mean follow the music. Dumbo, I owe you. You don't owe me nothing. This is the gift of friendship and good luck. I must say that uh, The Killer is one of my favorite films and, uh, and, uh, and the only one. It's a very uh, complete movie. Uh, uh, the people might, you know, that, uh, uh, couldn't understand why I said that it's, it's the most complete movie because uh, you know uh, I have totally freedom for making this film. You know, I just shot what I want to shot. I just you know do what I wa wa wanted to do, and I've got total support from Shay Hawk. You know, my my good friend. You know, said uh, I have no worry for shooting any or, or any of a scene. You know, so uh, I feel free to do whatever I want. Thank you.